Hello everyone, today we'll be talking about tryptophan metabolism. Tryptophan was the first to be identified as an essential amino acid. It is glucogenic as well as ketogenic. It contains an indole ring. And the chemical name of tryptophan is alpha amino beta indole propionic acid. It takes part in synthesis of various important compounds in the body like NAD and NADP and serotonin and melatonin. The metabolism of tryptophan is divided into two pathways, kynorenin pathway and indolamine pathway also called as the serotonin pathway. In the kynorenin pathway, about which we are going to talk about first, tryptophan is converted to N-formyl kynorenin. This occurs with the help of enzyme tryptophan pyrolase or tryptophan dioxygenase enzyme which cleaves the five-membered indole ring nucleus to form formyl kynorenin. This enzyme is stimulated by corticosteroids. N-formyl kynorenin is then broken down with the help of formamidase enzyme to form formate and kynorenin. This undergoes a hydroxylation reaction with the help of kynorenin hydroxylase. It requires NADP H. The next reaction is very important, which occurs with the help of kynorenanase enzyme. 3 hydroxy kynorenin is converted to 3 hydroxy anthranilate with the help of kynorenanase enzyme, which requires a cofactor called as pyridoxal phosphate. The Deficiency of pyridoxal phosphate will block this step, resulting in accumulation of 3 hydroxy kynorenin, which is then excreted as xanthurinate in the urine. So, in case of B6 deficiency, elevated excretion of xanthurinate is an important diagnostic tool. 3-hydroxy anthranolate then forms 2-amino 3-carboxy muconate semialdehyde with the help of an oxidase enzyme which contains iron. So this oxidase enzyme 3-hydroxy anthranolate oxidase is a iron containing enzyme which converts it to 2-amino 3-carboxy muconate semialdehyde. This can have three different fates. The first one is the formation of NAD plus and NADP plus. This occurs by spontaneous cyclization of 2-amino 3-carboxymuconate semialdehyde to form quinolate which then by various reactions forms NAD plus and NADP. Another is that this can form piconylate with the help of picolinate carboxylase enzyme. Piconylate carboxylase is seen in some animals to have very high activity. For example, cat. In cat, this piconylate carboxylase enzyme is very active and it deprives them of NAD plus synthesis from tryptophan. So, we can say that in CAT, it is exclusively dependent on niacin for synthesis of NAD and NADP coenzymes because tryptophan cannot serve as a precursor of NAD and NADP plus in CAT because this compound 2-amino-3 carboxymuconate semialdehyde is acted upon by piconylate carboxylase to form piconylate. 
The third pathway is that this 2 amino 3 carboxy muconate semialdehyde by, by various reactions forms alpha ketoadipate, which then forms acetyl CoA. This acetyl CoA then can take part in the TCA cycle or can uh, take part in fat synthesis. The carnurenase enzyme, which requires pyridoxal phosphate, helps in release of alanine. This can take part in glucose synthesis. So, we can see that tryptophan is both glucogenic as well as ketogenic. That is clear. The second pathway is serotonin pathway. The first pathway occurs in the liver to form very important product NAD and NAD plus which cannot be formed in animals like cat because of high activity of piconylate carboxylase enzyme and this in uh, 2 amino 3 carboxy muconate semialdehyde by various reactions can form alpha ketoadipate which can then result in formation of acetyl CoA which can take part in TCA cycle of fat synthesis. Renanase enzyme requires PLP for its action. It results in formation of 3-hydroxyanthranilate from 3 hydroxycanurenin In case of B6 deficiency, this step is blocked and 3 hydroxycanurenin then forms xanthurinate which is excreted in the urine. So in case of B6 deficiency, elevated xanthurinate levels are seen in the urine which can act as a diagnostic tool. Coming on to the serotonin pathway, serotonin synthesis occurs mainly in the intestine. The first step is the conversion of tryptophan to form 5-hydroxytryptophan with the help of tryptophan hydroxylase enzyme. Since it is aromatic amino acid hydroxylation, it requires tetrahydrobiopterin, which is required for hydroxylation reactions involving all three aromatic amino acids and also it acts as a coenzyme for nitric oxide synthase. 5-hydroxytryptophan then undergoes decarboxylation via aromatic amino acid decarboxylase enzyme which requires pyridoxal phosphate to form 5-HT, 5-hydroxytryptamine also called as serotonin. This serotonin in the pineal gland can help in synthesis of melatonin which is responsible for the circadian rhythm. Melatonin is a hormone which is also important in inhibiting the production of melanocyte stimulating hormone and adrenocorticotropic hormone. It also has some inhibitory effect on ovarian functions and it also acts as a neurotransmitter. In the pineal gland, serotonin with the help of enzyme serotonin N-acetylase forms N-acetyl serotonin or N-acetyl 5-HT which undergoes a transmethylation reaction to form melatonin. Transmethylation reaction means the methyl group is attaching to the N-acetyl serotonin to form melatonin. The methyl donor is SAM or s adenosyl methionine. Serotonin is also a neurotransmitter just like melatonin. It is also important for peristalsis in the GI tract and it acts as a um, stimulator of brain activity. So in case of deficiency of uh, serotonin, the patient may go into depression. Degradation of serotonin occurs with the help of 
माओ और मोनो अमीन ऑक्सीडेज टू फॉर्म फाइव एच आई ए ए फाइव हाइड्रोक्सी इंडोल एसिटिक एसिड दैट इज वाई दिस पाथवे इज कॉल्ड इज इंडोल अमीन पाथवे सो फाइव हाइड्रोक्सी इंडोल एसिटिक एसिड इज फॉर्म्ड बाय द डेग्रेडेशन ऑफ सेरोटोन दिस रिक्वायर्स माओ एनजाइम मोनो अमीन ऑक्सीडेज विच इज इनहिबिटेड बाय इप्रोनी एसिड सो if this is blocked there will be increased serotonin in the body so ipronic acid acts as a psychic stimulant on the other hand rezepine increases the degradation of serotonin so it acts as a depressant drug okay 5 hia excretion occurs in the urine and it has acting as a diagnostic tool for diagnosis of malignant carcinoid syndrome about which we'll be talking next so quick recap tryptophan metabolism occurs via kynurenin pathway in the liver and indolamine pathway or serotonin pathway in the intestine this serotonin formation which occurs can help in synthesis of melatonin which is released by the pineal gland this melatonin is responsible for circadian rhythm and inhibiting the synthesis of msh and acth and it also acts as a neurotransmitter Serotonin is also acting as a neurotransmitter. It is acting at a, as a stimulator of brain activity and is also important for gastrointestinal peristalsis. Kynurenin pathway is responsible for NAD and NAD plus synthesis. In cats, where piconylate carboxylase enzyme has high activity, two amino three carboxy mucinate semialdehyde is used by the piconylate carboxylase. Hence, for cats, all the niacin required for NAD and NADP. comes from dietary sources so talking about carcinoid syndrome it is a tumor of the argentafen cells in the intestine that secretes serotonin in this there will be intermittent diarrhea flushing sweating and fluctuating hypertension because most of the tryptophan is now utilized for synthesis of serotonin the patient will develop niacin deficiency resulting in pellagra like symptoms it can be diagnosed by increased serum serotonin and increased excretion of 5 hydroxy indole acetic acid neuroendocrine markers can also be used for diagnosis that is chromogranin a neuron specific enolase and synaptophysin then we come to hartnup disorder it is a disorder due to defective transport protein in which there is defective absorption of tryptophan and other neutral amino acids from the intestine and the renal tubules usually the patient is asymptomatic but because there is deficiency of tryptophan due to defective absorption the patient may develop pellagra like symptoms and intermittent ataxia cutaneous photosensitivity may also occur obermeier test is positive in urine and is used as a diagnostic tool for hartnup disorder So this finishes tryptophan metabolism. Thanks for watching and if you like the video then please subscribe and share for more videos like this. One.